we're talking about atomic discipleship. In atomic discipleship, we've talked about how small changes, atomic changes can add up to make big differences. Small changes done continuously get big results. To make good habits, we've discussed the four laws of habit formation. Make it obvious, make it attractive, make it easy, make it satisfying. Now we've talked about making a desired new habit obvious last week. To make something obvious, we can develop a plan. Motivation is really overrated. Environment's more important than motivation. It's easier to avoid temptation than to resist temptation. So we design our environment to ensure the cues for good behavior are made obvious and the cues for bad behavior are made invisible. To make the habit of not eating junk food is not to buy junk food at the store and then junk food's not in my house. To make a good habit, we determine what we'll do ahead of time and that's called the Implementation Intention Strategy. For example, I intend to read my Bible every day at 6 a.m. while sitting at the breakfast table. We can also bundle the desired habit with another habit we have and enjoy. That's called habit stacking. I'll read my Bible at 6 o'clock at the breakfast table while I drink my coffee. So you have a plan. How do you get yourself to do it? Well, this is the second law of behavior change, making good habits. Make it attractive. Dopamine is a neurotransmitter. It's a hormone that's released in our bodies, not only when we experience pleasure, but when we anticipate pleasure, when we're looking forward to pleasure. So if our desired habits are attractive, they will become automatic. The expectation of reward drives us to take actions. For example, bundle your Bible reading with morning coffee, then create your to-do list for the day as you enjoy your coffee. Now we all want to fit in, we want to belong, we want to have the approval of others. We can form a group of friends who are motivated and productive. We can look to people we admire, make our list a model of behavior after. Our family, culture, church, and school we grew up in and are a part of now affects what we see as normal. We can design the environment of the people we want to be with to help our habits. So join a culture where desired habits are more attractive. If I admire the people I see that are members of First United Methodist Church, I'll want to join that culture. To make things we do not want to do less likely, frame them as unattractive. If I neglect Bible reading, prayer time, and hanging out with good people, I will become an unattractive, unfounded person. And I don't want that. In the next two weeks, we'll talk about the other two laws of habit formation. Make it easy and make it satisfying. So please join us midweek and Sunday mornings. May the Word of God find a place in your heart and make you rich in